In this video, we show you how to configure the option Extended Access function in Matrix 1. To activate the Extended Access function, we need at least two room zones. The first room zone is outside, the second room zone is inside. In order to configure room zones, you need to make sure that they are activated in the system parameters. To activate room zones, go to System Administration System Parameters. Click on Access Security Areas Room Zones and set the value of the system parameter 91 Room Zones to 1. First, save your settings, then log out and log in again to activate the functionality. To configure the extended access function, we will add another access manager 9230 with two readers. To do this, we will copy an existing access manager. Select the terminal 1000 and click on Create Copy. Enter the desired numbers, names and IP address and click on Apply. Click on Reader In and go to Device Group. The variable booking instruction for Reader In needs to be set to 7 Access In because it enables a person to go from outside to inside. Go to Reader function and configure the inputs and outputs of your reader according to your cabling situation. Save your configuration. Set up Reader Out accordingly. The variable booking instruction for the reader going from inside to outside needs to be set to 8 Access Out. This will tell the system to set the booking person as absent. As the two readers are on both sides of the same door, the inputs and outputs are the same for both readers. Save your configuration. As seen in previous videos, activate the device, click Save and load it. Now we need to create the room zone and the connection door between the room zone outside and the room zone inside. Go to Access Room Zone Door Administration. In Room Zone Stores, click on Create New Record and select Room Zone. If necessary, set the number to 1 and enter the name outside in the name field. Click Save. Repeat these steps to create the room zone inside. Set this new room zone to number 2 and save it. Now that you have created the two room zones, we will create the connecting door and link it to the readers. Click on To Inside and then on New. Select the option Connecting Door. In this dialog, you need to configure the two room zones separated by the connecting door and assign the respective readers. Set the number to 10 and enter the name Main Entrance. Then configure the readers leading to the respective room zones. The Entrance Room Zone 2 Inside can be entered via the reader Reader In. The Exit Room Zone 1 outside can be entered via the reader 
Reader out. Click Save and the configuration is automatically sent to the Access Manager. Now we need to configure the desired functionality. We have three possibilities in Matrix 1. Timed Anti-Passback contains the time in minutes, an ID card is locked for repeated access to the room zone. Hard Anti-Passback prevents multiple access to the room zone by a person. When Anti-Passback Room Control is activated, persons may only enter the room zone if they were previously registered as present in the neighboring room zone. We choose to activate the hard anti-passback functionality for both room zones. Now we need to add the room zones to the access profile. Go to Access, Person Administration, Access Profiles and select All Doors. Add a new entry. In the column Room Zone Range, you will see the Room Zone 1 outside and 2 inside. Select them. Now the access to the Room Zones are granted in this profile. Save the access profile. Test the functionality at the terminal with the person's ID card that has the access profile all doors allocated to it. You can see all possible persons here. You have now successfully configured one of the extended access functions.